Okay, so this video is how to get the square root in the calculator. So you're going to have to press the second button, then x squared, and that's going to give you the root. So what does that mean? So you turn it on, and then this is the second button right here. It gets you all the little green logos on the calculator. So I'm going to press that first. And it shows up on the top that I've pressed second. And then down here, x squared has the root above it. So that's how I get the square root. So let's say I want to do the square root of, I don't know, 20. So square root of 20, enter, gave me 2 root 5. So let's practice. So if you're given an equation or numbers that look like number 1, your calculator will not give it to you all at once if you type the whole thing in. It's going to give you a decimal, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to do this piece by piece. So first, I'm going to type the square root of 5 into my calculator to see if it simplifies. So I'm going to do second, x squared, 5, enter. So notice how the root 5 is still root 5. That means that it, it's, sim it's as simple as it can go. So this right here is just going to be a negative square root of 5. Then let's do the next piece. So we're going to do the 2 square root of 24. I'm not going to put the negative in with it. I'm just going to bring that down in a minute. So 2 square root of 24. So now I have to do the 2 first, then second, x squared to give me the square root, 24, enter. And it gave me 4 root 6, which means this right here simplifies. So this is going to be a 4 square root of 6. But then you can't forget to bring down your minus sign. Okay, let's go and do the next piece. So the next piece is minus a 3 root 48. So we're typing this part in. So first, I'm going to type my 3. Second, x squared, 48. 48, enter. So 3 root 48 actually becomes a 12 root 3. So 12 square root of 3. And then don't forget to bring down your minus sign. And lastly, let's try and do the 5 root 5. So 5 square root 5 is just 5 root 5. Then I have this problem right here. Again, my calculator will not do all four things like this, so I have to decide what I need to do next. Well, when you're simplifying square roots, they have to have the same number under the root to be able to add or subtract them. So 4 root 6 and 12 root 3, I can't, I can't do anything with those. But right here, this negative root 5 and this negative 5 root 5, I can combine. So in my calculator, I'm going to do a negative and then the square root of 5. And notice how it is flashing right now. I'm still under the root. To put this part in, I have to be out. So you're going to press right here to the right, minus 5 square root of 5, enter. So that gives me a negative 6 root 5. So I have a negative 6 root 5 that the calculator gave me. And then these other two are just going to come down. Minus 4 root 6, minus 12 root 3. And this is now your final answer. Okay, let's try one more putting in the calculator. So go ahead and if you have your calculator out, pause this video and see if you can get the correct answer. So to type this one in, we are going to do a 3 square root. Remember, you press the x squared button, 18. And it's still under the root, so you have to arrow to the right to get outside of it. Parenthesis, 2, second x squared again to get my root, 12, arrow to the right, plus, again, second x squared to get my root, 5, 
arrow to the right, parenthesis. Now what's on my screen looks exactly what, what's on my paper. So let's press enter. And that's our final answer. So our final answer with just using the calculator to solve this is 9 square root of 10 plus 36 root 6.